Redmond, Oregon. That is correct. I should not be in Redmond, Oregon at 6.56 a.m. I should be at the receiver getting ready to unload this. However, that's what my tablet looks like, and that's not what it should look like. I have to wait for IT to show up so they can fix it. And I don't know what time they come in, but let's head that way. Important updates. We are back. All right, where, where in the hell is everybody? Why are you guys so red? Is that better or worse? Where, where is the coolant? How am I gonna know if the coolant is leaking if you're not even here? Found you. I think that's the coolant. Okay. That's nice. There, no, I think she's full. All right, let's get out of here. At the end of the... Madras, Oregon. Fuel time. The inaugural, inaug inaugural, the inaug, the first time fueling this brand new truck that I'm still not sure how I feel about. She was thirsty. All right, we are ready to go. So I guess let's go.
that wide. And that's why you see Swift trailers wrapped around telephone poles, I guess. Washougal, Washington. Let's deliver this stuff. What do you say? Important updates. I am stupid. I did not read the address on the BOL I was given. I just went off the address that they sent me on my tablet. And they're two different places. So I just looked really, really smart in front of that lady that I checked in with just now. So she could tell I'm a dumb, I'm a truck driver. She knows. So the thing about being really good at this is that every now and again, you're gonna put that on display in a public setting with witnesses. <laughs> that's, that's totally fine, gives me. I mean, everybody should know just how big my brain is. Washougal, Washington. Let's try this again. <laughs> That was soups easy, now it's time to go. Portland, Oregon. Let's get loaded. <laughs> Broken nail. The truck is fine. Okay, we are loaded. Now we can find that way to the, find our way back to the freeway. We can head east, young man. There's gold in them hills. What am I saying right now? Whoa. So I'm not sure about this suspension load reading, 
I know that would be way over on my old truck, but I guess I'll go to a CAT scale and figure out what 76 slash 75 PSI means. But according to the forklift operator, that was 47,100 pounds and he centered it. So, I don't know. We'll go find out. Car doesn't work at that cat scale next door, so I had to come over here. Now I'll have to pay with cash. So this is pretty sweet. And of course you gotta work your way through the maze, find the break in the fence. I'm not complaining about today. Today is totally fine. So this number is 540 pounds too many. So I'm gonna slide the fifth wheel from the far back position to the middle. And that should give me a couple hundred pounds. And then uh, we'll go from there. This truck must be heavier than my last one because 79,300 seems like a lot. fifth wheel in the center position which should have given me I don't know 300 pounds or so maybe but it sucks with my card not working so I can't I'm not going back over there again I am going to take my chances and if a scale house wants me to screw around with a couple hundred pounds I can I can move my tarps to the back or something but we'll see how forgiving they are and I have to go through every scale because my transponder is not turned on and I have temporary tag. So let's go. Turn right on Northwest Frontage Road, then.
Bergman, Oregon. We got us one of those old fashioned potty breaks and also something else. Connell Washington. <clears throat> Connell Washington. Jeez. We're going to do our... <laughs> We're not going to do our 34 hour anything in Connell Washington. We're going to do our break here. This is where we're at for the night. I have a steak that I pulled out. She said. And I'm going to air fry it up and finish watching the football game. But also I need to swap over my XM satellite radio to this radio. So maybe I'll do that right now. Important updates. We have transferred subscription. I don't know how to set the presets on there. This is this is fine. Important updates. We did it. We have preset things. They're all sports, but that's you guys know me by now. To the surprise of nobody, the Giants are getting pounded by the 49ers. And also to the surprise of nobody, I'm having steak and broccoli. Let's go. All right, it's late. You know what that means. Bedtime. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Orientation on Monday. What do you do? What are you doing?